Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. Hmm. Nothing like starting the day off with a hunter. Oh boy. Bring out your dead. Good old Undertaker. Well, I think I lost the game already. gonna be a tough one. Well, at least that turn there was no animal companion. Otherwise I would have been completely destroyed. Although his lack of play on turn 3 means the chance of Hunter's Mark is higher. Zero mana deal 7 damage. Was a close well one. Played. You win. You win this time. Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. One of the reasons I uh, avoided playing handlock on ladders because there were a lot of hunters, but yesterday. I experienced more of a balanced uh, distribution of classes in which the hamlock does better. Uh, do I soul fire here? I think it's not unreasonable. I think I started realizing, I was like, okay, sometimes I would just push the problem to the next turn, but that just means I take two extra damage. Might as well just soul fire now. Alright, so do I want Ancient Watcher or do I want to tap? If I tap, it means I can, uh... I'll need more cards in order to win this game. That's really good. So next turn I can play Ancient Watcher and tap. The um, If I had like another card I could have played next turn, I probably would have not tapped. You can only tap so many times as a Warlock and this is pushing it, but I'm going to tap one more time. A warlock against the hunter, I mean. It's kind of tempting to soul fire the mad scientist to save two. Okay, that's pretty good for me. I have to... Hmm. Does he want snakes that bad? Okay, well let's play it this way then. Shields up. 
None shall rise. Oh, that's an excellent card to draw. I got this. Black Knight's usually a little too slow to play in the Hunter deck. The way he's playing it seems to be more of a control Hunter deck, like as controlly as you can get as a Hunter. No hunter's mark is a good sign for me. Put this apple on your head. I actually look to be in really good shape here because uh, I've got Jaraxxus. Unleash the hound? Oh, the hounds. Man, that owl. It's a survivor. It's gonna make it. Okay, so let's actually return this Molten Giant in the case that it is Freezing Trap, since otherwise it would die to the Hellfire that I'm going to play. Though if it's freeze, no, if it's freezing. Then... Okay, so... Hellfire... No more... S oh, another secret. So there's been two freezing so far, that means that's either explosive or I can get a free tap, I don't need it. Buzzard is the random beast. Oh right, this would be snakes. That's fine, I can uh can play Earthen and then Soul Fire, Shadow Flame that. Oh! Oh my god! I'm. Uh, wow, that hasn't happened in forever. Whoops. I. Feel really silly right now. May have just thrown the game. I wonder. I'm so sad. What a disaster. Three, five. My eyes are open. Shield up. I'm still winning. But, you know, to some extent, this play, no, no, I definitely should have soul fired first. But it's like, hey, maybe I would have discarded Jaraxxus and been in a worse spot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bring out your dead. I cannot risk soul firing Jaraxxus away, I think. I want to play Sludge Belcher, but playing the Defender of Argus is pretty important. As it pumps this out of that range. My seal for Argus. To my side. I see.
Eight, six. Okay, his cards are rather weak. Hmm. All right, I'm in the clear after handing my opponent three cards. Oh my gosh, Cult Master. All right, so as long as I dodge, what is it? I need to dodge specifically the um, one one. Beast, Web Spinner, and the Kill Command. As long as I dodge both of those, Lord Drax is just fine. I let the dog out. All right, here we go. You face Drax to the Long Lord of the Burning Legion. He's got me in my final boss stage now. He's got a lot of taunts. To my side. Savannah High Man. Alright. Siphon Soul. Okay, I think I don't kill that this turn. How shall I destroy you? Inferno! This exact setup seems to be very good. Almost out of cards. What? Oh, I guess I decked him. Has this game gone on that long? Okay. Your soul shall be mine. Your soul shall suffer. Alright, we'll keep the Hellfire against the zoo. There's no way I can tell which one it is, really. I mean, I could know with pretty good confidence if he kept all three cards that it's zoo. It's not really worth, because, like, even if he replaces all the cards, I should still keep the Hellfire anyways. Good old Hemlock versus Hemlock Duel. Currently, I have none of the tools. So it's going to be a slight problem. What about Sylvanas and or Ragnaros in this deck? I used to run both of them in the deck and I would cut a Mortal Coil and a Siphon Soul for it. I think uh, that is perfectly reasonable. Might be even better. I mean, the Siphon Soul is cuttable. The Mortal Coil, I think there's too many Hunters right there. It's too good to cut. Owl. Owl. Oh. So usually the follow-up is Tap giant. I at least have a faceless manipulator for that. Hmm. This isn't bad. Mortal coil. Hi, Al. Eh. Black Knight. He's cheating by including a card like that. It makes his matchup against me quite a bit better. That's not fair. In all honesty, it's a little bit unfair because... It means his matchup against everything else is weaker. Into the 
but that's fine. The goal of this game is to play it unfair in a way that benefits you anyways. And that's my path of Hearthstone. Is Alex Strauss a good replacement for Lord Draxus in this deck? Alex Strauss is slightly better against aggro decks. Draxus is slightly better against control decks. It depends. Would I play Draxus turn 9 in the mirror if your board was ahead? Even before Molten Giants? It depends. It would have to be a really specific case for me to do that though. I'll say that much. So even though I say it depends, I'll also say it's unlikely. Hmm. Do I want to play the Earthen Ring Farce here also? Or do I want to tap? There's so much I can tap into. I've played zero good threats so far. My like, my good stuff is all in the bottom. The Twilight Drakes, the Mountain Giants. I've only played the Faceless so far. Why don't I run two Faceless in this deck? Because then, so the chance of drawing a Garbage Hand is a lot higher. Faceless is only good in the situation where you have a big guy out and the opponent doesn't kill it and then it passes back to you and you can faceless that big guy. Those scenarios are rare. I might even go as far as to say the faceless manipulator is a card that could be cut in this deck if you wanted to improve the matchup against aggro. Hemlock once ran both Alex and Draxus. Well, yes, but that was a slower time I imagine. Time of greater peace. The Twilight Jake is unlikely to be any good. We'll have an owl by now. Versus aggro, would I consider cutting the manipulator and adding in another hellfire? Yes, if I could go into an aggro game, I would love to magically have the faceless be out of my deck and a hellfire in it. But in ladder, you have to build your deck to counter the field, whatever the field is. So in this hypothetical thought process. I would love for that to happen. In this hypothetical situation. This magical world. I used to run like a version of Hamlock, which is anti Hamlock. There are times where changes are. There are times when things are appropriate. When the perfect storm happens. What I'm running now is a very standard deck. It doesn't really seek to take advantage of much other than its standardness. Basically, this deck is... It's honest, is the way to put it, I guess. I'll play around AOE by not playing the guy there. Is cutting one farce here for BGH a good idea? See, every single change, you have to think about the things. Like, I can't say whether or not it's a good idea. It depends. So Earthen Ring Farseer is really good against aggro, BGH is really good against control and handlock. There was a time where I considered cutting a Earthen Ring for a BGH. That time was when like hunters had just gotten nerfed and people thought hunters were dead, so everyone ran mm -hmm. handlock. In that metagame, you would be a fool to not run a BGH over an Earthen Ring Farseer. So that's the lovely part of collectible card games. The environment always changes. And I love games where there's no clear and cut answer. Alright, my first giant. So I could use that to clear the board of Shadow Flame. I could also clear most of the board with Hellfire. I think that's a better option here. It's tough to get value out of the Hellfire, so, so getting value out of it now is pretty good. I put him down to a dangerous amount, but 
He can't play two giants at once. It's not legal for him to do that. In that it overcommits too much. I would say. It'd be an illegal maneuver. Do I think Ramp Druid is viable in this fast type meta? Well, I will say this, Ramp Druids tend to be bad in fast type metas, but you can adjust the Ramp Druid by adding cards like Zombie Chow and Alex Straza to make it better. I think the standard Ramp Druid deck would be a poor choice at the moment. But once again, it depends. I'm really tempted to soul fire myself. No, he hasn't played any Shadow Flames yet. It would be a cool idea, but probably a bad idea. This is difficult. He didn't um, coil, which means he probably doesn't have it. My eyes are open. I could have even considered Earthen Ring him. Okay, that would have been ridiculous. Plays the Molten Giant, then taps. <sighs> Alright. Oh. Okay. Uh. Fine. I'm going to risk it all here. Don't do this to me, Sulfur. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. No, that's fine. It's better than discarding the actual Molten Giant. This is gonna be a tough finish. I mean, it could be really easy. Maybe I just attack him in the face with these two and I win. But unlikely. Alright, that's not a great answer by him. So that's good for me. Oh, Molten Giant. Disaster. And I guess I play this one. It's cheaper. I mean, it's more expensive. So it's more value. This game developed unusually. Yeah, it's because I had a really bad hand, actually. Kind of. Feels like I had a bad hand. Good old Calm Priest Freebie win. No. no game is a free win, but should be slanted towards my favor. Something that just occurs to me, somewhat randomly, is I haven't seen a Death Rattle Priest in some time. Another thing that occurs to me is I haven't done Coin Watcher into Owl for a very long time. I think it's fun to do this against Priest. I think it might be correct to do it against Priest. I actually saw this play at BlizzCon. Maybe it was during a BlizzCon qualifier. And I was like, huh, I wonder if that's correct. I was like, yeah, let's try. Probably came from my deck. Alright, the Defender of Argus will allow a good trade. My shield for Argus. Hmm, playing this like a mid-range druid. 
only combo that's bad here is Circle, Hawk, and I, which it looks like. Oh, Shadow Madness. That's pretty good. Shadow Goodness. And he. Mm. This card could get Akanai Soul Priested, or Cabal Shadow Priested. Uh, I guess that's fine. I would just use this against the Cabal Shadow Priest in Hellfire. Let me change your mind. Of course. Can't get much value of Hellfire in this matchup, so that is really good. This is the last silence in my deck. He's low enough that I would consider using it on the Ancient Washer, though. But it's already, I have a Shadow Flame also, so. It's complicated. Addition of one more card makes this play easy, otherwise it would have been difficult. I guess against Ysera I would just play Owl. Wow, turn 9 heal. That's a big uh, signal on what his hand is. So, I know for a fact he can deal with the Mountain Giant. Does that mean I should play Sludge Belcher? It's like, he's guaranteed to have an ant. I mean, he could have a Black Knight also. I guess I don't want him to play Black Knight, so I'd play a Mountain Giant. No, I do want him to play Black Knight. Alright, you're gonna take this. Like,. Him passing on turn 9 basically turns his hand face up. There's going to be a Black Knight in here, a Shadow of Death, a Holy Fire, a Holy Smite, uh, Mind Control. They're all in that hand. I guess I couldn't really handle Mountain Giant being uh, controlled, so I should do nothing. Turn 10 pass. So I, no, I don't play Jaraxxus. So many um, possibilities. Hmm. Oh crap, I should have done Mountain Giant into Lowest up there. Yeah, absolutely. Mistake. That's the turn where I should have played the Mountain Giant. That's actually a really big mistake. Uh, I'll probably still win, but I missed a really good opportunity mm. there. Let's just slip that in under the 5 mana. Yeah. Still play it here. It's a lot less good. Hmm. It'll turn out to basically be an 8 damage miss. I guess I use the theory that these cards are rather useless. Shield up. Hmm. Silence is also very likely to be in his hand. I'm gonna start playing uh, 10 mana giants. That's still gonna be good. Maybe I tap one more time? I wonder. It's possible. Second Shadow Madness. Interesting. 
but want to freebie tap is the question. This is a problem with being a priest, like, there's just huge threat after huge threat and you just don't manage to put enough pressure on the opponent. I can't even actually tap as I have too many cards. Could soul fire Mortal Coil, but playing a Molten Giant is better. I must concede. I see you. you know, if he had actually gotten Mind Control there, I might have lost the game. Hmm. And I should have assumed he would have Mind Control in his hand. It's kind of scary. My seal for Argon! Well, with only one card left, this game will rapidly draw to a close. I guess I don't actually need your access to win. Guaranteed win. But I'll just hold things just in case. No, actually, I should have played the Earthen just because uh, that sets up lethal on the board. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you faced Daraxus! I was actually going to end the turn, I guess I have to be 